I believe in what you said about Netaji's leadership, Subhash Chandra Bose's leadership and his iron fist rule. My question is, one of Netaji's most trusted army commanders was Habibur Rahman, who accompanied him on his supposed last flight. So Rahman later joined the attacking Pakistani forces in the 1948 war of Kashmir. Was Netaji trusting the wrong persons or the wrong ideology? This is a very good question. So you are right. One of his closest uh, and most trusted lieutenants, Habibur Rahman, who was part of the Indian National Army, who, who fought for India's independence from the British, he later joined Pakistan. He became a Pakistani. And he was part of this uh, uh, invasion of Kashmir and occupation of Kashmir. So did Subhash Chandra Bose trust the wrong person? That's the question. Very good question. Very good question. Here's what it is. He did not trust the wrong people. He trusted the right people. People like Habibur Rahman and many other Indian Muslims who may have later become Pakistanis, they all fought under the leadership of Subhash Chandra Bose. They lived together with Hindus and Sikhs and other people. They lived together. They fought together for India's independence. They bled together. They died together, many of them, for India's independence. Because of the leadership of this great man, Subhash Chandra Bose. It is Subhash Chandra Bose and his vision of India that they fought for. After Subhash Chandra Bose disappeared, the leadership we had in India had a very different, mediocre vision of India. The India they sought to construct was a distorted, twisted, reduced version of what India actually could have been. And that leadership was not palatable to people who fought under, under Subhash Chandra Bose. And therefore, people like Rahman then went elsewhere. They sought some other leadership. Maybe they found that Pakistan is better for me now, now that Subhash Chandra Bose is no long, longer there. They clearly believed, they, they clearly knew that had Subhash Chandra Bose won, then India would have been a great country. And they wanted to be part of that great India. But they did not want to be part of Nehru and Gandhi's India, which was a mediocre version of India. And that's why they, they went to Pakistan. And it's very, so that's, so that's the reason. They believed that Pakistan could be a better country than Nehru and Gandhi's India. So it's all about leadership. It's all about vision. Under Subhash Chandra Bose, India would have been a completely different country. And that's the country they would have loved to live in. That's the country they were willing to die for. It's all about leadership. If you look at India and Pakistan, if you compare India and Pakistan's foreign policy, etc., you will find to your great surprise and shock that Pakistan implements and follows Chanakya Niti far better than India. That is the sad truth. So yes, people prefer to go to Pakistan than to live in Gandhi and Nehru's India. So it doesn't mean that Subhash Chandra Bose trusted the wrong people. It means that under his leadership, they, they trusted and believed in him. And they knew that had, had he won, India would have been great. So that's why they fought for him. But after he disappeared, whatever happened to him, they preferred to join Pakistan because they, were, they knew that Pakistan for them would be better than Nehru and Gandhi's India.